Hello, my name is Maya D'Alessio. I'm a PhD candidate here with Dr. Trevor Charles at the University of Waterloo. I'm here today to talk about our most recent publication in ASM's journal, M Systems. We researched the bacterial species, Cyanorhizobium melolotai, which is a soil bacteria that lives in symbiosis with alfalfa. This bacteria is interesting to researchers because in its symbiosis with alfalfa, it's actually able to take nitrogen from the air and provide it to the plant. This bacteria also lives in a soil environment where it can encounter nutrient-rich conditions like a feast and also nutrient-poor conditions like a famine. And what it's able to do to grow in these conditions is it can store excess carbon that it encounters in a nutrient-rich environment away for later use when it's in a nutrient-poor environment. This is really similar to how we as humans store energy as fat in our bodies. The compound that the bacteria stores this carbon as is called polyhydroxybutyrate, or PHB. The use of this compound is believed to be what allows Cyanorhizobium melolotai to establish its symbiosis with alfalfa. This relationship is really important for agricultural practices. To summarize some of the key findings of our paper, firstly, we observed a strong transcriptional response in a small specific area of the genome. When we compared the transcription patterns of each gene in each mutant, like a fingerprint, we were able to see that there was large numbers of genes that were behaving in similar ways. This was a hint to us that they could be regulated in the same way. We looked at the regions upstream of these genes and discovered a sequence of DNA where a regulatory protein could recognize and bind the DNA, thus changing the transcription of the gene downstream. The regulatory sequence that we found is known to be bound by a regulatory protein in Cyanorhizobium melolotai known as FIX-K, and it and other similar proteins are actually present in those regions where we saw that original strong transcriptional response. Further statistical testing showed that the presence of this sequence upstream of genes was correlated with a significant difference in the transcription of those genes. Before I finish up, there are a few things I want to highlight because I think they're the coolest parts of the paper. Firstly, we were able to propose a biologically relevant mechanism for the response in the cell based exclusively on computational analysis of RNA sequencing data. The region that contains the strong transcriptional response that we discussed earlier actually contains a number of genes specific to nitrogen metabolism. This is of interest because it suggests a link between the regulation of carbon and nitrogen metabolism. For more information, read the paper and reach out if you have any questions. We hope you enjoy.